happy Friday to her. Feliz Viernes, Consuela. Ah, oh, qué bueno. <laughs> qué rico. Tu español es muy, muy bueno. Muy bonito. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm still gravelly. I feel like I'm gravelly, more gravelly than yesterday, but it's because it's early. And, so yeah. It's like morning were, gravel. And we were using your voice a fair bit yesterday. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, we are on a fliff video. We're about to do some fliffing. I, yeah, I've missed doing some fliffing. Yeah. But we had to pry it up from yesterday. Yes. Yes. So, so we. We hit up some of the Pride at Home uh, event so that we can do flipping in Pride gear. Yes. So do we? We would do credits then for that. Yes. Even we would though do credits. Even though they're not strictly flip designers, they're Pride Pride at Home designers. Right. Right. Yeah. Yes. So I'm gonna let you go first because you set the tone for our, our outfits. <laughs> All right. Um, well, I'll uh, I'll start at the top then. So, uh, I have this um, Never Sleep, uh, or this Benson Beanie by Never Sleep. Okay. Uh, and it has a bunch of different options for the patch. Uh, and I loved that they had one that said Protect Trans Lives. Oh, I so, see it. I was like, what, what patch? Where? I was like, oh, there it yeah. is. Yeah. That's cool. Now, I actually had to uh, swivel this beanie to be... I'm technically wearing it backwards. That's what I thought. It's a it patch is yep. in a weird place. Uh huh. Yeah, uh, because otherwise, the way it was oriented, it was nearly covered up by my horn. Uh, mm -hmm. So I just swiveled it. So, so that means the hair didn't come with it. Correct. The hair is a modulus hair. It's called Benny. Because it fits so close. I thought yeah, the hair and the beanie came together. It it took a little bit of. Uh, massaging, but I think I got it. You I nailed think I got it. it pretty good. You yeah. nailed that. Yeah. yeah. Um, modulus works pretty well with a lot of hats, actually. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. So that's that's my hair. Uh -huh. Going down, I've got these pride sunglasses from Rain. Now these yeah. are not a new offering. No. I think these I were from last them. year's yeah. pride. But I wanted to wear some pride glasses mm -hmm. and. Um, and I wanted to wear these, so... Yeah, they look good. Yeah. Uh, going down a little further, I've got this top on. Which I love. This is the <clears throat> Pride Cropped uh, Daddy shirt by mm -hmm. Red Girl. Mm -hmm. And I thought it would be uh, a fun one to wear. So Yeah, I feel like I should have opened the video saying, Happy Friday, Daddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That would have been pretty mm -hmm, good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Missed um, opportunity. Yeah, this week I actually get the rare uh, opportunity of wearing La Fille Casse. So Ooh. this is the Lorena Fur Stole. Which um, is available this Pride at Home because you got it ahead of me. Yes, yeah. So, so a little context <clears throat> there. Um, you had already been able to assemble uh, pretty much a full outfit. Yep. <laughs> and we had gotten up to F. Yeah. And for my part, at F, I had gotten things I could wear on my ankles, and that <laughs> was it. So I had to shop ahead a little bit mm -hmm. to find things that I could wear. So that's what I did. Um, yeah, I'm not mad at you. It's okay. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> so, yeah, so I got that for my top, and for the shorts, I remembered that we got these fun interactive shorts by Duck. Uh-oh, they're interactive? Does that mean I can yeah. pull them down? You can't pull them down quite, but like, um, I'll, I'll use one of the options, but that's as much as we'll get away with. So. Like, I'm trying to click right now. No, it's I'd have to set it up for you. Um, oh. But, so it's like yeah, coming so down they're... a little bit. Yeah, and there's a, a bit of a... a bulge thing happening I there. did I did notice this yes yeah so we'll go, we'll go back to oh this. relaxed yeah. okay, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we'll the save other the excitement is, for later yeah the other is uh popping out the top of the uh, gotcha. shorts mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> I see <laughs> not YouTube friendly no yes so I thought that would be fun especially because they also you know say daddy on them uh huh uh 
dropping down. Oh, yeah, I mentioned those were from Duck. Uh, they are the Sucre Interactive Shorts. Going yeah. down, these are from Cult Love is Love, the uh, angle, mm -hmm. uh, angle bits, which I really like yeah. those. Mm -hmm. And they look really nice with these uh, slides, uh, Lennox slides, which uh, are unisex. Um, they're by Unfolded. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they have they support a whole bunch of different uh, a bunch of different shapes. That's good, including reborn. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when so I that's logged in this outfit. morning, I was like, "Look at you!" I was like, "Hot damn!" Oh, but I shouldn't end on my outfit. We're also standing in front of this cool pride van by yeah. Pattaya. Oh, Pattaya. Pattaya, yeah, and uh, I decided to flank it with a couple of star breeze palm trees. Yeah. Um, we've had these. Uh, these are from Half Deer. Yeah. Uh, but the Pride van is new, and it actually, it's it has, you can open the doors, you can open the back doors. Yeah, I noticed it door. was like detailed You can inside. enter it, you can lay in it, you can sit wow. in it, you can sit on it, you can lean against it. Oh, look it has at those a whole back doors of, too, even. Yeah, you have a whole bunch of animations and everything you can do with this thing. So this is basically the get in losers. We're gonna do gay stuff, Van, and I love it. Or as we were we were talking to Tristan yesterday, sounds gay. I'm in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love it. That's when I realized Tristan is the living embodiment of that shirt that I saw. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's a very cool van. Yeah, a lot of times it's... stuff like this is just for the visual right but right. to actually be able to like sit in it live in it camp in it do yep. virtual van life in it yeah. yeah it's it's very cool yeah um now you know it's not drivable but it is that's it the is one thing that's cool. missing but yeah. yeah but you could go not you a big know, deal go camping across the grid you could really do your virtual van life in it you could, you could. Yeah. Also, if one were uh, ambitious, it wouldn't be too hard to mod this to become drivable. Oh. Um, because the wheels are all separate prims, which means you can hook them up to a vehicle script. Mm. Um, and, you know, you just set it up so that if someone's in, you know, your driver sit position to do that, you'd probably have to massage the AV pass note card a little bit, but it's entirely within reason that you could do that. I like options. Yeah, but I love it. Mm. And I love the, the painting on the side of it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's it's very fun, very stylish. Yeah. Um, it's a great, great van and great back to drop for us. Yeah. I feel like yeah. in my head we're going to be tooling around Fliff in this van. <laughs> we're just going to drive store yeah. to store in this van and get out and go find yes. the deals. Absolutely. So. All right, we're ready for so, mine. Yeah, that's that was me and our uh, and our decor. All right. So, for me, it's like, uh, do I open my inventory? Do I not? Okay, so, um, you may need to. I probably you've got a bunch will. of things, and I'm, a lot of them are from stores we don't usually shop at. Right, but I know, like, the, the I know it's the the Pride Shadow is from Dotty Secrets. That's yes. available at Pride at Home. I have um, zippers, uh, you know, all three, Jelly Hollow, Lippy, also Pride. Um, mm. I have the earrings. They're the Elliot earrings. They're from E. Marie. They're, I don't know how recent of a release they are. I was shopping on the marketplace and came across them. Um, okay. But I remember them. I, I didn't feel like yeah. they were a new one. Um, and I think I didn't buy it before because I didn't like the pin sticking through my ear. But apparently yeah. this year I'm over it. So Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I mean, you've been putting in really giant plugs. So you've True. gotten used to it. You're I, like, whatever. I have, right. <laughs> I can handle a little safety pin. A little safety pin's nothing, <laughs> and fine. a tiny gauge. <laughs> so, and I have, and I've got my little Luca cow ears on again. And for people who don't watch us all the time, it's the elf ear with a cow tip. But we just call it cow ears. Cow ears. <laughs> so I put my cow ears on again, and I'm wearing the Emery, um, Elliot earrings in pride colors. Um, mm -hmm. Then this neck paint from Alt Three, I'm in love with it. Like ever since yes. I saw it, and the I, materials on it looks so good. Yeah. So 
It's the Pride neck paint over at Alt 3, also available for Pride at Home. Then I'm doing pretty good without using my inventory. <laughs> you are. Then this top is from Ascendant. I forget what it's mm -hmm. called, though. It's also Pride at Home. Um, right. Let me look up what it's called. Uh, for some reason, it's not letting me right click, but I can get it from the note card Ascendant. It had like three names. It was like, I don't know. Um, right. So, when you so get... Ascendant, this is. Um, uh, of course, it doesn't say in the note card. I can get uh, it. I can get it out of my inventory. All right. So um, I'm also wearing these as fun Astralia rings. They're like pride rings. I love the Astralia rings. Yeah. So let me <laughs> open my inventory so that. Oh, we there we go. The names. The Soli Pride top. Okay. And the Astralia. Proud Pride frog rings. There you go. Frong rings. Frong rings. All right. Typo. Yeah. Um. Then the shorts from the Beauty Factory. And what were they called? Yeah. Again? Uh, they spoiled pride. Spoiled pride. And you like <laughs> these because they're all torn up in the back. I do enjoy that they're torn up in the back. Which is and I love all the just writing all over them. Yeah. Someone just got crazy with sticking, uh, yeah. you know, writing on them and sticking Let me be perfectly them, so. queer. That's funny. I yes. Like that so lots of clever sayings. Love is not a crime. Don't get bitter. Just get better. You like that one. Yeah, I do. Of course, the love is love. Um, mm -hmm. And then these boots are from Aloe, and I fell in love as soon as I saw them. Is they're yeah, soft and, they and a... then I didn't realize they were going to sheer option. Yeah, and the sheer option is very nicely yeah, done. Yeah. So let's see. Let me go to the right place in my inventory. Um, so Aloe Artemis boots, sheer. Mm -hmm. And it caused me to break out my soft thighs. I haven't worn soft thighs in a while, but... You know, I've also well, been somewhat out of SL for eight weeks. <laughs> yeah, there's that. And when we, you know, we were just starting to come out of winter. Um, yeah. Where we tend to wear warmer clothes anyway. Even though it's a virtual world and we don't need to. Yeah, but we like to, we like to dress thematically. Um, we do. <clears throat> which... <laughs> that also the being sick also got me in trouble with Kala she's like it's still winter in unity I was like um, oh no I have told you this I told you this repeatedly yeah that you had left snow out in unity yep. and then yep. when she told you then you finally get on it but also to be fair when she told you you were coming out of the sick slash busy time so you could address right. it but exactly. I told yeah. you before yes. the sick you busy did. time you I'm like did. hey there's still snow at unity you need to come to fix that I will, I will, and then sick. Yep. So I just ignored it after that, because I know I told you, so. You did. But then That's Kala true. told you too, and then you did, yep. you changed it, so. <laughs> Okay, so uh, those are our, our, that's our style today. Mm -hmm. I think I've touched on all the things. There are new, like I've gotten some new release note cards from Oh My, and I'm, I'm oh. just so eager to dig into what the new things are with Oh My. Right. That um, I... The reason I mention that is because obviously I always give credit to my AO, which is completely oh my. Um, and they're on flip today. So. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. So. My AO is also all oh my. Because mm -hmm. we're official oh my bloggers. Yeah. But we've always been, <laughs> Yeah. We've always been fans of oh my. Yeah. So. All right. So I think we've covered the style. So let's look at second life news because we had to catch up on some of that so yeah so this is going to be a little bit of a segment because you know normally we do it week to week obviously we've missed some of them we're going to skip some of them that are no longer relevant or valid yeah yeah like deadlines that have been missed or whatever but yeah we're not covering all the things we're just this is t t tours curation of the and, yeah the second the most pressing second life news since the uh, eight week sickness hiatus right so up first is the pride festivities which of course Ooh. that's going to be front and center so um i'm scrolling so there's a link so there's lgbtq history museum and cultural center that sounds cool um i feel like i should go check that out then mm. there's second pride celebrate diversity at second pride um it's a destination um, it's a good name. Second Pride. Yeah. Started in 2005. So before wow. I got here, then I think that's when you got here, right? 2005. Yeah, yeah. Second Pride holds 
four annual events featuring plenty of music and fun spread across two regions. I didn't realize it was that big. Shops and either. beer, carnival rides, the flight over the beach, working trolley. Yeah, Second Pride. They have a website, second-pride.com. Nice. Okay. And of course, there's Pride at Home, which we've been talking Pride about. Pride at Home. That's the one that I always, that's my go-to every Pride. It's Pride at Home. Yeah. It's time for Pride at Home. Um, yep. So I know they have the list, which we've been making our way through. And then they also have like their headquarters where they yeah, have a whole festival and everything like DJs and activities and freebies as Mama Lala was pressing me on the other night. She's like, come get the freebies. And I'm like, I can't because I do it with tour and I'm waiting for him. Yeah. And fundraising so. as well. Yeah. All right. The next one is Transgender Resource Center. That's cool. Ooh. So it's a safe place for transgender people and their allies to join and talk about the issues they face. And they have weekly support group. That's cool. Very good. Yeah. Then Christopher Street, friendly place to meet like-minded people. A great place mm -hmm. to call home. It has free apartments and free storefronts. Wow. Inquire within. It's a safe place for the LGBTQ plus community to come together, connect, Very and cool. be themselves. That's really cool. Yeah. Okay. I love that. Then there's Boys Town. Um, I've been aware of that one. So Boys Town is a gay community that's been on the grid since 2007. That's when I got Ooh. here. Looking yeah. for a place to rest or maybe find someone to chat with? You're in luck. New people are popping in all the time. Check out the Boys Town Welcome Center and attend one of their daily events. You can also find land, homes, apartments, and more. And move into Boys Town today. All right. So another place to live if you're looking for that. Then they have... Um, another one called the collective community uh, so it says whether you're seeking a romantic escape with your partner or a spirited adventure with friends the collective is an inclusive community that welcomes all so it just sounds Very like a cool. nice kind of hangout place yeah come as you are that. and embrace the magic of this lgbt plus paradise that's cool yes so we'll, right. we'll have to make time to get out to, to some of these coast, yeah all right, so the next one is a spotlight on Robert Scott, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Robert Scott. So um, this person is the founder of the LGBTQIA plus directory. So I that was unaware of this directory. Cool. Yeah. So according to the interview, it says that he has created a pivotal resource that enriches our community by connecting and supporting its diverse members. Yeah, so it looks like it's like a curated list of events and places and uh, and different. It's yeah, it's literally a directory of all things mm -hmm. queer in SL, um, and I love that that is a thing. So is it a website then? I'm clicking it. Yeah. yeah. Yep. It's give. You can go by clubs. You can go by. You know, places to take photos. You can go find residences, a role play services, art galleries, which is you know always interesting to me. Oh. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, apparently they have a background in coding. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So I'm just scrolling through it. That's cool. I was reading the part where he was saying it was inspired by him collecting resources like landmarks and note cards and then kind of losing track of them. So it's that's totally valid. Yep. <laughs> I, I know I've felt that. All right. So the next one we have is coming to an, as an Agni region near you, an update on changes to voice. Right. Okay. So in, seems like they're either replacing their voice protocol or adding support for another one in tandem to it. I'm not sure quite what the plan is there, but what I do know is um, it looks like they're the way it's going to work through WebRTC is um, one of the things that I know a number of people have struggled with with SL Voice is when it like loses sync with the servers, it just goes away until you restart. Or if they have certain firewall setups, they can't 
use voice, um, all these things because the SL voice runs in like a completely different process uh, and requires its own um, port and connections and all that. Uh, so it sounds like they're finally shifting the architecture for that a bit. Um, they also are saying that it should improve uh, audio quality in SL, which is, in my opinion, kind of been sorely needed um because even when someone has like a good audio setup you can definitely tell that the audio is degraded uh through sl voice so um so yeah it looks like it looks like this is going to be a a good move um and they're continuing to like tighten it up some uh so, and they mentioned here, yeah, the removes external dependency on a third party provider for voice um, because it's just using the WebRTC protocol. I'm guessing that means that they have engineered it in a architecture that Linden like more completely controls, which is definitely going to be helpful for them and should be helpful for users as well. So that'll be excellent. Yeah. Well, thank you for explaining that. And as you yeah. were doing so, I was being amused on my end because you're talking about voice and the alligator decided to start using his voice. No! Oh. And he's just, because you're there in the kennels because they had the breakfast. Wow, 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 wow. He does not like to be contained. <laughs> he is a beast that does not want to be contained. He will be heard. Oh, he will. See? There oh, he is. gosh. All right. Amazing. He's like whining oh, in the other room. Okay. Um, after he's had time outside running and playing and digging holes. So <laughs> he's not abused by any means. No, he's not. He's got a nice big crate he can spend some time in. And no. <laughs> All right. So next oh, tab gosh. I have is the child avatar policy, yes. which we were talking a bit on yesterday. So basically my takeaway is this is that you know, they are responding to the community's like demands for um, updates to the child avatar policy. So yeah, I'm just really glad they haven't banned them all together because there's still there's a very vibrant community around child avatars. And yeah, in my that opinion, would be the easiest solution for them, but but the wrong. The, I was gonna say the wrongest. Yeah, it may it be the been... easiest, but it'd be the wrongest. <laughs> right. Um, uh, a lot of times, that's just there is an overreaction to things yeah well so and I'm my feeling is that, that the littles you know the kid community is just like any other community on the grid of particular avatars in my opinion right um i know there's more there i know but the thing is to me you can sexualize everything so hmm. you know i don't know to, i'm just glad like i said to eliminate a community altogether would be very wrong um so taking the steps to make sure there's safeguards in place so that the this community is not being abused or twisted or, you know, just going down yeah, the to, wrong path to, to better, to better be able to react to bad actors, bad actors. Yeah. Right. So, yep. so, you know, I feel like as someone basically, I, you know, I am a member of the kid community, um, mm -hmm. not as seasoned as some other folks who have been in that community for, like maybe their entire SLs for years and years. Um, mm -hmm. There's a there was a little kind of pushback in terms of you know obviously they don't want to be you know um, you know forced to have to do anything in particular with their avatars, but you know like there was conversations around the modesty layers and things like that. And in the end, I think that's not as, as bad as I think some were worried that that would be. Um, yeah, I think they were worried that they'd have to buy a whole bunch of new stuff. Yeah, like whatnot, new skins but... where it's baked in and, you know, things like that. But there are modesty layers, and there always have been. That's what I was saying yesterday. Um, yeah. So, you know. I think it also just putting in more kind of common sense rules about where kid avatars can go on the grid. Yeah. Um, and the ways that is enforced is, is a step in the right direction there. Yeah. And I, I think that's a a big part of it for me because like I told you as someone who's not you know had a child avatar very long I'm just used to going wherever I want 
Yeah. So now having to pause and think, okay, is the sim right? What's the rating? Um, and really, because sim ratings had no bearings on me whatsoever. Right. Um, I know they're there for a reason. Um, I'm not someone yeah. who would go out with like bits out and then go to like a G sim, right? Right. Um, yep. So to me, it never really impacted me. But now, right. now I have to give it some thought. Um, yeah. And like I said, that added feature on the toddler do about, hey, you've entered an adult region. Are you sure you want to be here? Is great for people like me who sometimes lose track of the sim ratings. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. so I don't know. I think at the onset, the, the kid community was really concerned that bad things were going to happen now. But I think uh, since yeah. everything's come out, I think people are are comfortable with it and recognize that it's fair um yeah and it's I for agree. it's for their protection yep so and to like you said to minimize the impact of bad actors yeah so exactly all right so the next tab was um just updates to the second life community important updates for the second life community okay yeah. so this one um this is what i was touching on they're talking about the mobile viewer a little bit Mm -hmm. um, but they're also saying mobile and desktop updates. Um, I don't know what the uh, desktop updates is, but oh no, it says it down there. Why to release of some of your most requested features? Oh yeah, and things like mirrors and mirrors 2K and textures. Two K textures, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, and so, like I was saying yesterday, the mobile viewer is coming along. It really is. Um, it's still not what I want it to be, but it's really gaining a lot of ground. Right. I've, I've popped in and out a few times because it's hard for me to stay there very long because I'm frustrated. <laughs> so yeah, because you want to do you want to do more. I want to do right? more. Yeah, um, I still don't have that kind of functionality I want, but they are making improvements. I see it every time. They're, mm -hmm. So they're they're making a, they're moving along quickly with that. Very good. So it shouldn't be too much longer. Um, then the next um, bold topic here is strengthening community protections, which is again talking about the child avatar policy and reinforcing that sexualized age play is strictly prohibited so right exactly yeah um and then strengthening internal policies policies and community engagement um this i think was um them reacting to how deep the um accusations went and basically saying you know how did this go on so long internally mm -hmm. without any one like reacting to things so um i'm encouraged to see that they're not only putting out a new policy for the community to uh to abide by but it also looks like they have changed things internally they've um made some personnel changes they've uh, adjusted i assume they've adjusted things so that reporting things internally has a better process mm -hmm. um and it looks like they're you know reaffirming a commitment to transparency and accountability and yeah. we'll have to see what that actually looks like in time but i'm uh mostly i'm just glad that they didn't just say okay well this is a community problem we'll just change the community policies they recognize that they have some work to do internally as well mm -hmm. It's, I think the interesting line here is that, you know, they're, we're basically making a statement uh, on the conclusion, it sounds like, of their investigation into their own, right. like, um, their own Lindens and contractors. And they're saying mm -hmm. that they've determined that those, those people that maybe had, you know, been named or not named or suggested um, did not, um, that they were in compliance with their guidelines. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering, you know, because I know there are some people out there that feel strongly that they were not. Um, so I haven't seen any other um, conversations around this, but I've also been sick for eight weeks. So, um, but I know there were people feeling pretty strongly that there were some Lindens um, and moles like in the wrong. So. Right. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm uh, a little. Mm, I'm I'm unsure quite what to make of that because yeah. I know that there was I I don't want to like stir the pot here but the language of that statement mm -hmm. is uh, does leave some room for 
questions. So, all mm. limited than contractors, does this mean current ones, if people were let go, does mm. that, mm. you know, do they So, count? that's a technically also, accurate statement, but... And also, with our own community guidelines, one of the critiques was that the community guidelines were way too vague mm -hmm. and, um, you know, unwritten. So, like, is this the guidelines as they were or the updated ones? I'm mm. assuming it's as they were. So, I, you know, I don't want to, like, rehash anything, but I also... Oh, you make valid points, though. I recognize Linden has an incentive to save face. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just I'm glad that they're adjusting things to be a bit more uh, uh, to be a, try to be more self-accountable and hopefully uh, open up more transparency to the community because whether any of that stuff was true or not I think just the silence on the matter mm -hmm. broadly for years um, left room for concerns to grow you know yeah. um and whether they <clears> were <throat> regardless of whether they were founded or not those perceptions matter yeah you know yeah, i agree you make good points as always make fantastic <laughs> points all right so yeah. um and then oh the oh, just the closing of it building a better second life together all of these updates and initiatives are part of our broader drive to continually improve second life Stay tuned for more. Participate in the coming events, and let's make Second Life better together. By yes. Oberwolf Linden, who I guess is let's our current do. CEO. Uh, I think so. so. I lose track, you know, after Ebby, and then yeah. um, who was the original guy? Uh, Philip. Philip. Yeah. Philip. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, Oberwolf. Uh, da da da. Yeah, I think. Pretty confident. I think so. Yeah. yeah, he's executive chairman. Executive chairman. Okay. All yeah. right. So, and then the next tab we have is um, a lab gab one that talks about the Tilia acquisition and new community roundtable. So, before you dive in, because I know you were going to take the Tilia thing, to me, uh -huh. the Tilia is the uh, the like transactions, like the dollars, the the because yeah. I know whenever I'm buying Lindens, it's a Tilia exchange so right it's the currency yeah. yes exactly so um they've used tilia for quite a while tilia has been an external thing though the, uh, an external payment processing system um and rather than relying on them as a third party it looks like now they've finally acquired them and are going to integrate them into the company um which is going to be i think uh, beneficial to to both parties because they'll be able to have a little bit more control over the API and um, could potentially lead to better uh, internal data mining and uh, more reliable payment processing and such. Mm -hmm. okay. So that sounds cool. Mm -hmm. um, and is there anything here with the uh, community roundtable? Is that it says join uh, Second Life leadership and conversation at our community roundtable. So we missed that. It was scheduled yeah, for May twentieth. That. So that's totally so irrelevant. that's no longer. I don't know what came of that. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, it'd be fun to. I like to join those things when I can. But yeah, I do too. Okay, so that's the last tab of news, which means we're ready to look at Fliff. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, so we've made a change. Do you want to uh, comment on the change? We're looking at the Fliff offerings on a website. Yes. So that is not um, Seraphim. <laughs> it is not Seraphim. Yeah. No, we've used. Sorry, you've used Seraphim for quite a while. <laughs> I've always complained about it. Uh -huh. um, and uh, Tristan tipped us off to the fact that Sugar SL exists. See, I knew there I'm was like, another one though. And I'm well. You might have. I didn't. Mm. So yeah. tipped it, don't, Tristan tipped you me. off to sugar. Tristan tipped me off to sugar. Tip, I'm like, Tristan reminded sugar. me of sugar. Let's use it. Yeah, well, um, I agree with that on our stance on food and and just the pleasure of eating. Why not use a website yeah. called Sugar? 
shop sweeter is their uh, their slogan. Yeah. So we're going to be using sugar and you can find yes. it at sugarsl.com and it'll be linked in the video description. So and they too. For, for my part, I don't know why, but I actually find this website easier to navigate and <laughs> use. So I think you're just biased. I might be. You never like the way Seraphim was set up. And it has a dark mode. And you were sold at dark mode. Exactly. The pure excitement that I got to see on your face. <laughs> and that's a lot for someone who doesn't emote much facially. Yeah, I can have a dark mode. Yes. Dark mode makes you happy. It does. Yes. So, <laughs> this is Sugar SL. I was aware of it. Apparently, it's news to tour. Um, it is. So, they too give titles. So, it's 50 Linen yeah. Fridays gets you ready. I'm sorry, gets you summer ready. And what I enjoy <laughs> is that it's it's posted by Kite. 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 Which is perfect for you <laughs> as well. This website is yeah. you all over it. So, it does. <laughs> yeah. It does. All right, so they too oh, have pictures, um, mm -hmm. and it looks like, based on the scrolling, it's an average size fliff. Yeah, I would say it's. I see beachy uh, still there. a little bit below average. We we do have beachy. Beachy, so panique. Mm -hmm. Sorry, go ahead. Got excited. So we have three sponsors this uh -huh. week. We have Equal. Okay. Pure Poison. All right. And Stealthic. All right. So I was going to say about Beachy, I see the little thumbnails and I don't see duckies. And I'm going to put this no. out there because I know Aubrey Snoodle watches. And maybe when we get to the story, this question will be answered. But Aubrey, I'm looking right at you. Please make pride duckies. Please. <laughs> I don't, I haven't seen them yet. Maybe 1990 will. But I want Beachy to be there. I want Beachy to give pride duck. Pride duck, yes. Yes. So I'm just putting that out there for Aubrey to chew on. <laughs> There's still time. Right. It's only June eighth, so yeah. Anyway. And we're gonna we're gonna be rocking different pride outfits. Right. The month. And and yeah. to, to be fair, when we get to Vici, she may already have it, and I may have just put my foot in my mouth. That's true. That's true. So, because why wouldn't she do a pride duck? <laughs> it's just perfect. She knows people like me love ducks. She knows yes. I like rarely take off my Vici nails. <laughs> so of course I'm gonna need some pride duck. So, but I've also been sick for eight weeks, so maybe she's like, oh, I guess Lala gave up. Maybe she's not worried yeah. about duck anymore. But no, Aubrey, I'm here. I'm here, <laughs> and I'm still. Lo I still love duck, and I still wear it every day, as evidenced by my avatar right now. <laughs> so. Oh gosh. All right. So with that, I think we're ready to kind of dive in. Are we ready to get going? Yeah, we're ready. Let's do it. Yeah. All right, Tour, where are we? We are at Equal. I see. They have some mm -hmm. fun dudes. I don't know if I have these. I'm going to say I don't, because I usually know what I get. I thought they looked familiar, but you'll have to check. I think it's the base that looks familiar. It is. But if you... I'm going to check, because if you're right about what's in my inventory... I feel like I need to buy you something. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's, uh, oh no, no, I no? don't have. Okay. See, I know. Well, there you go. It's the foot. It's the base of the boot. It's it is what looks familiar. But what I know makes this different is the cutout. See, there's a cutout. I saw that as a cutout. Maybe it's steel. It looks like it's a steel. Yeah, mm. it looks like it's steel. I was I kind of digging that it was going to be a cutout. Like that was the the model. Like as open toe, open heel. But now mm. that I look at it, that's a steel toe and a steel heel. Yeah. Oh, I was more excited about being open toe. <laughs> well, I think it's still very it's cool. It's still cool, yeah, but I was like... I'm looking at that, and I think that's PBR. Oh. Maybe. I could be wrong, but I think it is. Hmm. All right. So, <laughs> um, I can buy the fat pack, or I can buy the 50 linen ones for 50. Happy weekend is going to be a different price. Yeah, so, so how about you break fat down pack, the prices for us? Fat pack is nine hundred. Uh, Happy weekend is eighty for either the white or black versions. And uh, yeah. So um, while we're here, do you want to call out the Pride at Home? Yeah, we got these Wally sneakers, which we both have uh, picked up. Which they we both have picked up because we both can wear because it supports 
Legacy Male, Female, Kari, Cooper, Reborn, Maitreya, Gen X, uh, Jake, Gianni, and Anatomy. And then I believe almost, I want to say all the Pride at Home things are 99 London. Uh, that That's is what I remember when well. I was So it's 99 shopping. per yeah. color there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. All right, well, I'm going to pick up a fat pack, but otherwise, are we good to go? Yep. All right, Tour, where are we? We're at Pure Poison. Yep, and they have the Sophia... An Wait. Well, Sophia Animated Diamonds, but it's a shoe with mm -hmm. animated diamonds. It's a, it's it's a shoe with animated diamonds. No, okay, so here's my question. When I see animated diamonds, I think bling. Uh, yeah, it's probably got a little bit of bling going on. So... Is this but like 2024 bling? I don't think it's like 2024 bling. I think it's better bling. <laughs> the evolution of bling? The evolution of bling. Yeah. Okay. So if it's Legacy Maitreya, E-Body, and Gen X, so of course I'm going to pick these up because when do yeah, I not pick up it, a pure poison shoe? They're also doing it with their um, nails next to them, the Carla yeah. nails. They're doing some animated bling on those. All right. And those are cool looking. Um, yeah. are they, is it for Fliff 2? No, just they're 60 though, which is you know, pretty close. I'm looking around the others. So they have Perla rings oh. and nails. And those are fun. Yeah. And then diamond French. Okay. Yeah, Pure Poison's been dipping into the fingernails. They've been yeah, and on the their other own side, spin they've, on it. They've got this um, Marie? Maria. Uh, which also have the animated I read that as Myra diamonds. it's Maria no but it's a typo in it's not Maria on the on yep. the vendor image look M-A-I-R-A -A. Myra yeah you're you're correct that's that is how it's written in cursive there but the actual vendor item says Maria so hmm. there's a there's a typo there for sure I kind of like the Myra I kind of like the Myra as well mm -hmm. Okay. It's a more exotic sort of thing. Right? Name. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. All right. I'm going to pick yeah. up these Sophias for sure. Yeah. All, All right. right. Are we good to go? We are good to go. Uh, Tour? Yes. Did we join a parade? Maybe. <laughs> it looks like it. Look, there's a pride car. Oh, gosh. Wow. What a float. I love this float. Is there? There's another float behind it. So they kind of made their own parade. And look, yeah, the Pattaya here. van's in the parade. Oh, oh my gosh. Aww. I, I love, love this. I love this so much. So they made yeah. their own parade. They're using the Garbaggio dolls, which are perfect. Yeah, they are. They're all like like all the like drag queens and stuff. <laughs> on the float. And yeah. although the float behind us does not have a vehicle pulling it, which is interesting. And then, um, but the one in front of us does, and they've got like, you know, like the important people, like the important Garbaggio. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is fantastic. Uh, I love this so much. This is really great. I saw, I saw this. I was like, well, yeah, you're we like, normally stop um, at the flip item, but where you're like, we have to, we have to take a side <laughs> sidetrack because yeah. this is too fabulous to not like take a minute sure. to like absorb it. We've absolutely Soak got to highlight it, it yeah. <laughs> like this rainbow alone. Yep. I'm mesmerized. I am too. Oh, gosh. So, um, where are we? We're at Stealthic. Oh, my We're goodness. Stealthic. So Stealthic. I know. Okay. Yeah, they went, they went all out for this. And I am for it. Absolutely. So I, like I love banner. this slogan down here. Yeah, Kate this never is... makes any of us less gay. Yeah, funny so that good. you and I were thinking the exact same thing right now. <laughs> That's fantastic. Uh, okay, so right. where is Stealthic? Actually, well, let, is it in front yeah, of us? Yeah, let me grab you. Mm -hmm. Look, they've gonna... done the whole street down the street. They've done the whole street. I know. I am me. <laughs> is there anything in that tent we should be aware of? I'm not sure. I think they just made it look like, you know, like an event. Wow, that is that was fantastic. Yeah. So let's see. We can sales. Which one of these is Fliff? Uh, 
It was curly. Curly, so honey? Yeah, let's see. Yeah, yeah, honey. I feel like I have this hair. You, I believe, definitely do. And I feel like on my head, the way it's shaped, it feels a little flat on top. (laughs) But yeah, I've worn this one. But because I have like a very round head, I think it looks Mm -hmm. a little better if your head's oval shaped. Yeah. So you can get that lift you want. Yeah. So it's 50 for the basic pack. Uh, You can upgrade it for 150 or you can just jump straight to the full for 200. Yeah. And I have full all all the things i have the that's just how i roll so nice all right well i'm good to go because i know i have it so all right well we'll uh we'll we'll leave the pride parade i kind of want to hang out in the pride parade i know it's such a good display and they've got like food vendors and stuff down there yeah man is that colette oh is it it was just Uh, camming that's Colette. Uh, That's Colette. In the doorway. Oh, in the doorway. I was I was camped all the way. Yeah, it is. It's Colette. Hi, Colette. I wonder if she's trying to get out of camera sight. Too late, Colette. I got you. <laughs> I'll have to let her know in uh, uh, in, yeah. um, in IMs. So. <laughs> but that's a fantastic parade. I love this parade so much. I'm camming it some more because it's amazing. (laughs) All right. Are we good to go? We're good to go. Right, Tor. Tell everyone where we are. We're at Andor, where we have gummy grogs. Gummy grogs. And I was telling you before I started that um, I know a little who'd be into these. Yes. So this is food collection and or gummy grogs, strawberry flavor. So six styles, I'm assuming all in one HUD. Like, I might have to get this for my little because it's cute. And because she's always eating because, you know, like mother, like daughter. Mm-hmm. She's always eating because I'm doing my story and I'm trying to keep her stats up. So it <laughs> leads to always eating. There you go. So I know you support that. I do. I do. Yeah. So she does that a lot. I might have to yeah, make her so- chubbier. So yeah, you get all six for fifty linden. That's cool. Mm-hmm. All right, is that the only offering? Because I see something next to it. Oh, it's the canine. It's Mika. for canine. Yeah, you can get the um, shaki mm. uh, earrings for their their ear system. For their ears, yeah. Yeah, those are pretty. Yep. One of these days, when I have more time, I should try out their ear system. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, because I have the summer and I'm going to fill it up with all the things. <laughs> yeah, and I know you're you've been experimenting with different ears. And yeah, I know we've been resistant to Endor, but well, just because it's another system. I know. And so, but they make really nice earrings. So it's they like, do. well, I got to come around. It sometimes it just takes me a while to come around. Yeah, it's yeah. like one more I, system. I, like we have a lot of systems. Okay, I will just I will just say. I wish that their pixie earrings were larger, um, and I think that would, I think that would sell it for us uh, mm. just right off the top. But I know they can't just change that all of a sudden. <laughs> what do you mean they can't just change it for us because we want it? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that's not how that works. However, I will, I will put this out to, um, to ear makers who dabble in these sorts of ears which is especially like the custom ears which is um with the way rigging works and this is a genuine question and if any maker wants to just say <coughs> you know shut up to her you don't know what you're talking about i will accept that um, nobody says that but it, it seems like it would be possible to make these pretty responsive to some of the sliders uh so making um you know making it so that you could scale up your uh pig's ears or whatever to be particularly long or you know particularly tall or whatever seems like it would be within the realm of possibility it would require a bit more finagling with the way rigging worked with the sliders but 
if I'm off base there, let me know. Okay. Well, you know, yeah. I imagine that we'd be able to get some of those answers from Poe when we start our classes. Probably true, yeah. So, which again, I have to verify with her when they're going to be. All right. So, otherwise, are we good to go? Yes, we're good to go. All right, Tour. Where right. are we? We are at Canapé. Canapé. And they have this coffee carrier. We have one already... coffee for now, two for later. That's right. I'm planning on you carrying that for me while I double fist some coffee. <laughs> and is a thing next to it? No, that's Saturday sale. Yeah. Waffle the, the, Madness that looks really box. Delicious. Um, yeah. Oh, no, they didn't. Do you see the, the tagline? When I dip, you dip, we dip. Yep. That's an, you know yep. that song, right? Haven't yes, I, I shared do. that song with you? Yes, you have. We, people watching this better know that song unless you're like a kid. And if you're a kid, you shouldn't be watching this video. Because now that song is in my head. Like I'm rocking out to it. I'm chair dancing to it. Because that was my jam back in the day. And and it's it's such a good tagline for this. Oh, it is. Too. They did that intentionally. Oh, I know. Thank I you, know. Canapé, because you just like made me smile so big. <laughs> Not to mention that it's a cool waffle dip box that I want to actually have in first life. Yeah, that looks really good. Yep. And if if I'm not mistaken, are her nails their cow tips? Do you see that on her nails in the picture? Oh yeah. She's yep. got some cow tip nails. Yep. Nice. All right, well I'm buying both of these things because coffee and that like waffle box would be so perfect right now. <laughs> like I want that. Yes. Right now. Yep. It makes me want to get on my phone and get on DoorDash and be like, who can deliver these things to me? <laughs> so Right. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to buy these, but uh, any other comments before we roll no. out or dip out? Dip out? We're going to no, dip. All... <laughs> all good here. That's the old slang. That's not the new slang of the of the kids these days. Yeah. So. All right. Well, I'm going to grab these and we'll keep moving. Yes. All right. Sounds good. All right, Tour. I love it when you whip out <laughs> your flashlight. Yep. Although with Got those shorts, here. there's something else you could whip out. But we're not. It's just the flashlight. We're just flashlight. Not for, not for YouTube. Not, for, not YouTube. for YouTube. Although in the position my camera angle is, you could and they wouldn't know it. Anyway, <laughs> we are at C'est la vie. And mm. I was reliving the comment that Larcoco Ragu had left us. Um, <laughs> because Larcoco likes their store dark. Yeah. But they have nice lighting in here. I mean, they could put it's... a light on their their display right here but yeah 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 so this is they have a top today and let me they do push have in. a top yes it is the dixie tube fits my trea dixie tube hmm. my trea lara petite lara x petite x legacy reborn gen x kind of has materials enabled so they have two available today so they have like a pink and a blue or maybe like mm -hmm. a baby blue and a blush you know they start calling things different sky and yep, blush they're, they're just calling it uh, bl uh bl and pk so blue, blue and, and pink. pink okay mm -hmm. i was trying to be fancy or yep. they were going to mess with me and name a number them they have number five yep. and number eight right like <laughs> <laughs> but oh yeah i don't think la coco does that i think la coco um names you know yeah i agree in a more uh, understandable way um mm -hmm. So yeah, so these are great. Um, I'm gonna pick them up because you could always use two. Mm -hmm. Fifty linden each, right? Because they're separate. Correct. Fifty linden each. And then I'm I'm looking over the top because I know she's got those headbands, and I know she's not the uh -huh. one we got headbands from, um, for Pride at Home. They had a different headband. True. And I'm I'm feeling those headbands. Like I want some more of these like fabricy kind of headbands in First Life. Yeah. These I, are fun. Yeah, I don't have enough really of nice. these in my First Life. <laughs> so, yeah, so when I see them on the wall, I'm like, yeah, I need those. Anyway, distracted. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if I have, like, adult onset ADD. I, I don't know. Could be. Or, like, senior ADD. I don't know. Because <laughs> it's like, oh, headband. Oh, squirrel. You know? <laughs> All right. I, mm -hmm. Yeah, would that be would that be AD? I think that would be ADHD. Well, the H is hyperactive, so it's movement. Mm -hmm. I don't that's oh, why I'm okay. like ADD is just attention because it's not okay. like I'm leaping out of my seat or anything 
Mm. Well, you just you sound like you are sometimes. <laughs> it's just the excitement on the thing I'm distracted it's just by. Just the excitement. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, yeah. Because if you hear me like moving away from the mic, <laughs> then let's see. And I got the malinator, right. malligator going again. But now, yep. I'm not in and out of my seat. I'm pretty stationary, so that's why it's the ADD, not the ADHD. So. All right. All right. Well, are we that's good? That's all we got. It. C'est la vie. C'est la vie. Bye bye, Lar Coco Ragu. C'est la vie. <laughs> right, tour. Where are we? We are at consignment. And what do they have for us today? They have this whole gaming rig. Right. Uh, like I which... feel like they have two desks set up for us. Like this is my desk right here, and this is yeah. your desk. And they're calling them the Grable Wall Desk. I like this a lot. I do too. Also, on the post-it note, it says that the password is big boobs. Are you kidding me? I'm not. If you zoom in on that. Oh my goodness. Thanks to the monitor. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I feel like I'm going to change my computer setup <laughs> in my office to this. <laughs> like, like I mean my Second Life office, because, you know, I have a little office space mm -hmm. from when I'm working on things. And yeah. all I've done is I have, because I have Lala's Retreat, which is in the Linda Trailer Park. And then mm -hmm. I like that desk setup so much that I just duplicated it at home. But now yeah. there's this. Yeah. So I'm going to take down the one I duplicated at home and put this one. Because <laughs> this is fantastic. Like, I love this, this so much. Really nice. I love the tower. I'm like, Tour, please build me one that looks like this. Because this <laughs> is so cool. It also looks like they have... It's not quite a Switch, but it has like a little gaming... Uh, yeah, mini miniature gaming thing. It actually, it, it probably also is. Donuts. It is a switch, because there's a switch that doesn't. The pieces don't come off. Oh, okay. So, and I forget what that one's called. If it's like light switch light or something, but gotcha. it's not the full gotcha. switch. It's um, yeah, a streamlined version. So that's totally a switch. Yeah. And it's got food. Uh, hopefully, it comes with all this this clutter. It I'm does. gonna be sad if it doesn't. And there's like no donuts and coffee. Well. It it's all linked together, so I, okay, good. Uh, you know, and with consignment, it usually is you, you get what you see, sort yeah. of thing. And then you just buy the the thing here. So. You buy it based on whether you want dark wood or light wood. Oh, basically. huh. I didn't even notice that. Well, mm -hmm. I gravitated to the right one because I'm a light wood kind of person. Yeah, I like light wood. And my my desk, my duplicated desk setup is light wood as well. So. Yeah. Yeah. See. So now I find a better desk that I don't need duplication. Very good. <laughs> All right. I'm excited. Okay. I am too. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. Are we good to go? Yes. All right, tour. Where are we? We are at details. Details? <laughs> I, I don't know. What, what happened? happened? De well, okay. Details. Okay. Here's what happened. Oh, okay. Saying, Please. I was saying details. Uh -huh. And then I looked up just... Because I was I was just looking at the top of my screen, and I got confused for my 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 tongue tripped over the fact that it says details and gawk. So uh, I was I started to try to say gawk in the middle of saying details. And details. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> wow. I don't think I've ever recognized that they share a sim. Oh, I've so, known. I've known. Yeah. Because yeah, I rocked I just, details for a very long time, and I've worn a lot of gawk. Yeah, and that's so. just uh, why why you sometimes can't read and talk at the same time. Details. <laughs> Degok. Deok. Yeah, uh, that's funny. Because I knew there was a little you know, something wrong with how you were saying details. <laughs> it's like, I know you know how to speak. What happened? Is this an Almin Salmon vase kind of thing? Nope. No. Nope. This it's is the just... reading while talking kind of thing. Yep. Details. Okay. Where are details? <laughs> and they have a lippy. Uh, and is it called yummy? Yeah. Is that what I'm seeing right? Yummy lippy. Yeah, yummy, yummy lips. lips. Sorry. I like when you they're called lippy. You can get it in dark tones or light tones. Yeah, those are cute. I don't really have a need for that. But if you need a yummy lip, there you go. 50 linden. <laughs> is it, so it's, since they have it separate, is it 50 for the light or 50 for dark? It is 50 for light and 50 for dark, yes. Okay, perfect. All right. Mm -hmm. Are we good to go? Or did you want to go check uh, out Gawk? No, no, we don't need to check out Gawk, but mm -hmm. uh, I I just wanted to mention that I appreciate that they have, uh, that you 
can get dark and light skin tones uh, to match your lippy. Yeah. Because um, yeah. that's something that we harp on with a lot of these, where mm -hmm. they just make the sale for, you know, light, light tones. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. All right. Good. Let's We're go. Good. Mm -hmm. All right, tour. Um, before you tell when you teleport, you teleport <laughs> ahead of me, and then sometimes you make weird noises or say things <laughs> that leave me wondering why, what, what's happening. So, I'm going to tell you my thought process because you came mm -hmm. over here, and you're like, mm -hmm. "Hello," and I'm like, "Oh, mm -hmm. that sounds like it might be something sexy." Mm. <laughs> so. When I'm no. looking around and I pull back and I'm like, what the, what? What are we looking at? Where are we and what are we looking at? Because the hello doesn't match for me. It'd be like, what, what the? Yeah. All right, so where are we? We're at D-Lab and I was looking for something, you know, more, uh, well, not quite so large swimming monster sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, when it came into focus, so actually, it, it hadn't resed at first. Uh, and what prompted my hello was like, I was looking at this platform, like, okay, what what's the item going to be? And all of a sudden, bam, uh, the whole head of it was like taking up my whole camera. So. Wow. <laughs> That's where the hello came from. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Uh, so we have the Morosaurus swimming, and we have the uh, dinosaur chair Plesiosaurus. Okay. Now those names just rolled off the tongue for you. Mm-hmm. So, you well versed in all the dinosaurs? Not all of them. Um, were you one of those like kids that was really into dinosaurs? I thought dinosaurs were pretty cool. Hmm. Um, but I got particularly good at pronouncing them when I was playing Ark. Okay. Which is a uh, survival game where you coexist with dinosaurs and tame them, and they become, uh, like, work animals for you or, you know, f fellow fighters of your tribe and stuff. Yeah. It is worth mentioning that they decided to spell swimming as swiming, which I'm fine with. Dinosaur can spell however dinosaur wants. <laughs> All right. So well, I got both of these. I I, that was my that, next question. Yeah. Don't know that uh, where they would be used. I have to sit on the plesiosaurus. So. Oh, let me uh, pull my camera point. back because now I see movement. Oh. Are you? I, so. I see it moving. Are you? I'm up on its head. Oh. Let's see. <laughs> It's hard to see because you're so close to the ceiling, but... Yeah, I know. I'm curious yeah, if I any see. of the poses are not on the head. Looks like all of them are... Wait, there's a swap. Let's see. Swap? Yeah. There okay, there we go. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> That's that. fun. So it's a two-sitter, at least. Uh-huh. And... Two that... people can buy upon the dinosaur. I didn't miss the flapping fins before you sat on it, right? No, they're toggleable. Oh, I, okay. Because it was static, it. and then I'm looking at it now. And of course, you would have set them off because you click everything. Yes, exactly. I gotta go back to that. Perfect. Now I set them both to going. Oh, nice. You got the swimmer swimming. Yep. These are fun. They are. <laughs> I like we're just hanging out, just flopped over. And despite the size, the the Plesiosaurus is only seven, and the uh, Morosaurus is nine. Land impact. That's really cool. That's I'd expect more from uh, from a you know detailed animesh scaled way up sort of creature. <laughs> so, very good. Thank you, D-Lab. All right, so you've collected both of these. Yes. So just res out whenever the mood strikes. Yeah, exactly. Although the, 
the one you were on, you could probably put in the water and stratagem. True. And then we'd have our own little, like, Nessie. Yeah. Um, and if you pick them both up, you can probably put them both in the water and strategy, stratagem, so you definitely have a place for them. <laughs> yeah. We're just going to have yeah. dinosaurs in our river. <laughs> Which is fine. Uh, it's okay with that. Yep. yep. Low land impact. We can have dinosaurs. We can have dinosaurs. So. Uh, gosh. All right. All right. Are we good to go? We're, we are. All right, Tour. Where are we? We are at I Iamani. <laughs> I'm just laughing. How, how would you? Imani. I don't know. This one. Like, I've always said okay. Imani, but then the, it has Imani. that swirly thing in the front that I'm like, is this yeah. an S? But it it's isn't. It's an E. It's an E. No, the swirly thing in the front. Yeah. Oh, it's it like is. A stylized E. It is. Iamo Iamoni. I don't know. Imani. That's how I always say it. Imani works. But I don't know if the designer watches this video. Maybe you can help us out. Yeah, so, or if somebody else who is actually right. in the know. Or maybe Zipper. Zipper's in the know a lot, or Barb. Oh, well, uh, this is interesting. Oh. So, without the I, the common pronunciation is Amon. Oh. Amon? It's an Irish, Irish, Irish name. Mm. Mm. So maybe it's Amon. Amon. Huh. Amon. Okay. Well, they have the Maddie heels today. And mm -hmm. you know how I feel about a super platform. This was just a little too stripper for me. Yeah. Even though I've been yeah. one, I still didn't wear shoes like this. No. So. no. Yeah. So Maddie heels but, available in twelve colors. It's great if that's the style you like. I'm not trying to throw shade. Yeah. Available I, I, in twelve colors, but for Fliff, it's red or black. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. And I own or Imani, Imani. What is it, Emani? Amony. 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 We're gonna go with Amony if I can remember. So yeah, yeah. I've I've bought their shoes before. I'm just not a fan of this particular style, which is okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna get everybody all the time. Yeah. All right. Are we good to go? We are. All right, tour. Where are we? We're at Havoc. Havoc. And what are they calling this little dress behind us? Alice satin dress. Ooh, definitely looks satiny. Mm -hmm. and they're offering it in two colors black and fliff <laughs> black and fliff yep yep uh, you can also get the fat pack for 600 okay yeah all right that's a fun little number it is it is and who does it fit uh let's see it fits uh peach gen x curvy cupra legacy mitre reborn with waifu okay support Lots of choices, and I think they're one of the few designers that regularly designs for Peach. I agree, yeah. Yeah, yeah most of theirs, I think, yeah, most of theirs support Peach. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Are we good to go? Oh, I feel like I should call this out oh. just uh, two, two items over. There's this one called Off... Uh, it's by Off Havoc, which I don't know if that's oh. like a collab between, oh, between Off Offline, Offline and, Havoc. and Havoc. Yeah. But I have to call it out because this is a Freya alert. Oh, from Mama uh, Lala. For Mama Lala. Freya alert. For Happy Weekend. So okay. it's got the boots there, but if you wrap around, it's also got the the uh, sweater and the whole outfit. Yeah. Looks like so. Yeah, yeah. So Mama Lala would wear that. It's very revealing. She's yeah. wearing a bikini top and a little skirt. <laughs> Mama Lala would totally wear that, so come get it, Mama Lala. Yep. They got an yep. outfit over here for you at Havoc. And then <laughs> Colette's hanging out over there. I see her. Hi, Colette. All right. Very good. Are we good to go? We are. All right, Tour. Where are we? We are at Justice. Justice. And she has a camisole mm -hmm. named the Emery. Emery camisole. That's fun. With three then, different prints. We love a good print. Yeah. And all the bodies. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> all, <laughs> well, some of the, t the major ones. Lara, Lara Legacy, Legacy, and Reborn. Reborn because mm -hmm. she continues to include some Reborn in her newer releases. So I'm absolutely going to support and buy the Reborn because I want to encourage more Reborn. 
it. <laughs> yes. And it's a nice camisole. It is. It is. All right. So are we good to go? We are good to go. Okay. To her, look what Cassie gave me. Oh, you got a stole too. She gave me the stole. She's like, welcome to La Ville, Cass. Here's a stole. <laughs> That's not how this works, though. It's not, you know, I wanted it for pride at home, but. Yeah. Yep. Now I'm, I'm super, now I match you better. Yes. So, but we are at La Ville, Cass. And we she are. has this tiny lingerie called Mina. Mm hmm. And. Mina ruffles it. Yes. It's got fun ruffles. And where if it's she used to list the bodies. Oh, it's over here on the side. Can you read the bodies? Because my voice isn't much. Uh, sure. Yeah. Okay. So we got Maitreya, Larpetite, Legacy, Perky, Mer Narito push-ups, uh, E-Body Reborn, and it supports Juicy Boobs. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah. It's a fun lingerie for sure. And you can grab it in Special Pack One or Special Pack Two, depending on if you want to get. The, like sky blue and like the this what do you call that yellow sunshine <laughs> sunshine all right or Thank four you. okay and uh and otherwise we've got the very seductive like red and black mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i see this stuff and i was like i should have worn more lafell cast when i worked at the monarchy because there's just a yeah. whole bunch of lingerie in here and, so. and just through the door behind us mm -hmm. there's a uh Kajira modeling it right now. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, I see that. I'm like, look at you calling out the Korean. Yeah, uh, she's she's got the title on, so. Well, she's also got the t the brand on her thigh. Ah. Uh, because yeah. I have all the my interface turned off, and I'm like, how do you know? And then I saw the brand. I'm like, uh, oh, that's how. She's very pretty. Yeah. I like the little, like, glimmers in her eyes and the. The yeah. piece on her head. Yeah. And like the gold foil. She's obviously a very pampered Kajira. Yeah. Yeah. So. Very good. Yeah. Lovely, lovely. And she's a great model. She really should wear the push up version, though. I think that'd be better. I agree. All right. I uh, definitely not her body type. <laughs> <laughs> Although wearing something like this would um, amuse me. Or would, yeah. the way it would look. So. I would enjoy it. All right. Well, I can so. pick up one of these packs for later. All right. Sounds what good. color pack should I pick up for you? Uh, I would go for the dark pack. Uh -huh. Okay. I'll pick that up and we'll keep moving. All right. Sounds good. All right, Tour. We have made it to Oh My. And we as, have. as I said at the beginning of this video, I know that Oh My's had new releases. Mm -hmm. And apparently we're looking at one of them. We are. We are. So, so this they did another um, pair of HUDs, men's and women's. Yeah. Uh, I picked up the men's ones, Heartfelt. Um, and uh, so they, they've updated the HUD, and you're not able to show that mm -mm. Uh, necessarily. But I, I think this HUD is... First of all, it's more intuitive about what you're looking at. If you want to send me a screen grab of like sure. the gazo of your HUD, then I can bring up yeah. the Second Life window and show people. Okay, let me do that. Because uh, I'm very curious, because I know what the HUD looks like. I tend to right. not wear the Oh My Animation HUDs, because you wear them. Yeah. And you animate yep. us, but I know I have them. Um, okay, so there you go. So we have some new options here. First of all, I like the fact that you have a... Well, let me know when you have it up. I do. I have it up now. Okay. So you have a previous and next button where previously it was kind of a... You technically had previous and next, but it was just in a like little circle of arrows. Mm -hmm. So it was a little more awkward to click either forward or back. So these make it very clear. Also, I love the fact that you now can save... Um, Mm, position. Positions, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that would come in handy if you know you have different heights that you have to deal with with different people, I, or just if you just have one set of heights you want to save. Um, so we've uh, we've also got the animator, animator or walking together uh, oh. buttons. 
Have we so, ever? Yeah. Did they have that before? They had the walking together. Um, it worked in as well as other walkers have. Yeah, uh, yeah. There's always challenges with those. Yeah, there's always challenges with those. But um, but yeah. Do you uh, want to so try walking us to see if what happens? Sure. Well, let's cycle through these animations okay. though, just because okay. we're so we have this one. We liked this one a lot. Yeah. Um, that one's that one, cute too. Which is just kind of a hey. Hey, we're just hanging out. Hanging out. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> um, this one's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that one's mm -hmm. now. But all of these are kind of expecting you to be a fair clip shorter. Um, so. yeah, like this one you wanted, but the arm yeah, is just one, floating out there for yeah, me. Yeah, I really like this one, but yeah, it is. And the only way to make it work would be just to have me hover way above or to drop your like you feet through the to, floor. You just need to hover up. Just hover up. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't shove my feet in the ground. Just hover up. It's all good. Yeah. We're like, no, so. no, 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 it's not. This one's so, cute yeah. for talking. Yeah. It is. It is. Um, and I really like the way the stoles interact with it. Right? <laughs> All right, so let's try doing some walking. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, wait, is that... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Theoretically... No. <laughs> wait, am I following you? Oh, am I the one walking? Maybe? Am I controlling us? How is that? Oh, I am. Yeah. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, right. Because I'm wearing the HUD, it wouldn't be... I'm, it's able to control my position, but not yours. So you would need the HUD to follow me if we wanted to do it the other way. So, okay. Yeah. So we can go over here and check out the actual fliff items. That's why I was coming, right? Exactly. So this is so, Isla. Yeah, so let me turn off this head so we can model this. So we got pose one uh -huh. for Isla. Uh, my eyes are covered, but they do have eye focus. Mm -hmm. More Isla. Mm -hmm. More Isla. This one, that's kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> All of these very hip friendly, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> like I, I want to kind of try them out too. Let's do synchronized posing like we've done in the past. We are on pose. Okay. Let's see. Can I get this pose stand? Let me start with one. Okay, okay. Are you on one? I'm on one. Okay. Let me pose, and I'm gonna turn off my. Uh, you gotta turn off oh. yours too. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're on pose one. Mm -hmm. and, and you, oh wait, you move oh, forward two. two different ones. Okay. No, because each each even number is eye focus. Okay, go. Mm -hmm. And go. Wait, what happened? You you didn't move it to. <laughs> each even number is is eye focus. Oh, okay. Yeah. And go. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> So oh, those are fun. fun. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I have a lot of oh my, so I'm like, I already have this one. Like, I feel like I do, but I'll have to go check. I don't think you do, but I could be I wrong. I feel like I do, but I I could be wrong as well. So, yeah. As with all oh my, these are fantastic. Now, do they have one across the way for you? They do. They do. Normally right. we start at that, but I saw that they had a new HUD, so I had to check that out. All right. So let's go over here. Oops. I'm like totally going in the wrong direction. As I new run over. Oh, I can't do it with you because that dude's there. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, he's gone. Okay, so let me do it with you. Pose. Okay, let me get over to that. Oops. Okay, I'm on. Hang on, my camera's like wonky. All right, so we're on pose two? Uh, yes. Why is it not letting me? So on the men's side, you can't go back. You can only go forward. Oh, okay. This has been a bug for a while. Um, Did they know that? I, I shot a message once. I could do it again. Is... All right. So this is. Yep. Pose two. Okay. Three, two, one, go. 
Very good. <laughs> See, I have to count it down for you like they used to in modeling. It's they'd, helpful. They'd be in our ear going, okay, mm -hmm. three, two, one, go. Oh, shoot. Click, double click, teleport, fail, 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 fail. Yeah, you Bad can't click model. quite that fast. Okay, let me join you. All right. Three, two, one, go. Nice. Do you have this one? You don't have Cove. Cove sounds new. Uh, I don't think I have Cove. Let me double check. Uh, I did have Cove. Okay. Yes. So you might use some of it already. I, uh, I might. Yeah. Because this one, I like the thumbs in the pants. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, you have this, and it's telling us to get out. So it's just they don't want people yep. parking on the post stands because then people can't try the poses. Exactly. To get that. All right. Are we? Uh, love all of this, am I? Great job. Yeah, I love the new HUD. That's yeah, it. I'm, I'm definitely a fan of the new HUD. The yeah. the being able to save positions is really helpful. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Are we good to go? Uh, yep. Tour. Yeah. I feel like I'm whispering at you in this <laughs> position. <laughs> Where uh, are we? We're at Panic. We're at Panic. Yeah. And. Panique. Uh, right off the bat, I want to say I really enjoy the uh, the rotating rainbow on the on the ground. The slow, like it's it's this uh, projector light that he's got going. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that. Very nice touch. Yeah, so. he's good with projectors. Yeah. All right. So, um, do you want to touch on the Operation Olive Branch thing? He's got a sign. Sure. Okay. So, Brett. Kitty. <laughs> All right. Um, Operation Olive Branch is a volunteer led grassroots collective effort dedicated to connecting with and amplifying Palestinian voices. Uh, our mission is to support their critical needs, including but not limited to mutual aid. So, um, I need to actually open up this link, but yeah, I am definitely all about this. That when you uh, open they... it, do you want to paste it to me so I can see? Sure. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I got this open. Um, okay, so Operation Olive Branch. Uh, it looks like they've got a uh, a spreadsheet with various uh, donation. Uh, places to donate to which I know you know it's always difficult to find ones so it's useful to actually have someone putting in the work to verify yes this is legitimate this is what they're doing etc um, I was actually just reading recently that uh, because of the mass displacement and destruction of homes and and buildings and, and such that um, that in Gaza there is I, I know it's odd to think about this in a war zone but there is now an 80% unemployment rate which does matter um, because like the only way to get back to any sort of stability is to have some sort of normalcy where people are even if there is like food and infrastructure set up they need to find some way to afford it um, so that is the extent of disruption in that area is, is 80% of people have no ability, no place that they can work um it's it's not like that's the most important thing it's just a data point that that points to the level of of disruption in the area yeah so i so think it's, it's it's great that tristan has posted this here for people to see and help mm -hmm. agreed um and the uh uh one of the things i see here in this spreadsheet is uh pointing to 
the um it, it's pointing out the malnutrition that children there are facing um and and looking to curtail that which yeah there's it's it's been branded a a full-on famine at this point mm -hmm. the worst that we've seen in modern times so um uh, I, you know and one one thing this i i know i'm getting sidetracked but like one thing that means for sure uh just right off the top is despite you know the stated goal of wanting to reduce uh hamas effectiveness and such this all of what israel has done here all but guarantees that a generation will grow up much more uh sympathetic to and enthusiastic about fighting back and like about actually joining groups like Hamas because they they're the only ones that you know and this isn't saying that Hamas is great it's just this is the reality of the situation you you can't eliminate a group like that through military force because that sort of overreaction creates sympathizers and turn sympathizers into active militants so the, it's basically assured that another cycle of violence will occur um, and it's something to be aware of now if if we want that to be lessened the right way to do that is to eliminate desperation and that means taking care of people making sure that they have what they need if that is the case, that they are always going to be less inclined to sign up with some militant cause. So, so can you do me a favor? Because this yeah. is a QR code, can you um, drop the link to this in the description? Oh yeah, uh, good, on good the page. call. Yeah, you good. Good call. Um, as you know, a QR code. I would just. I don't know. I was thinking just now. I was like, okay, do I need my phone for this? I could probably use. I don't know if I can use the. Usually, I would just yeah. pick up my phone. But... <clears throat> yep. Okay. So thanks for talking on that. I felt like we got into a little bit of first life thoughts, but. Yeah, a little bit, but yeah, can't you know, be this warrants it. Yeah. It, so. it, this happens sometimes. Your AO is on. <sighs> yep. There you go. Okay. Kay. So thank you so, for elaborating on that and linking. And that. thank you, Tristan, for for you know, bring this up. Yeah. Okay. So there are two offerings for Fliff as the dogs are, are, are awakened again. Well, mostly the, yeah, so it, the maligator. So. So I will leave it to you while he barks. Okay. So on the left, we have the solar candle, uh, the solar candle we've got in multiple metals. We've got a, a base that can be either, um, like black marble or, or white. Could be marble, could be granite. Looks really nice though. Um, and it is a. Can I tell? Is this. I mean, it's Tristan. I'm pretty sure it is a light source. I'm just wanting to. Confirm. Oh, I'm pretty sure it is too. And I love that he's now gone solar because a lot of it's usually lunar, right? Yeah. And then I'm thinking about my altar, right? So now I've got like lunar candles and now solar candles. It's perfect. Yeah, we're going Tristan. into summer. Tristan. No, it's not yeah. even summer. It's God and Goddess. Oh. Oh, true. There's that. So, yeah. 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 So. Yeah, that's a that's a very good touch. Yeah. So, then are you done talking about the candle? Did you go on to the other side? Uh, yeah. On the other side, we have the gauges yep. to match. Yep. Solar gauges. And they're rigged for your swallow, which you've been enjoying quite a bit. Yep. And it looks like um, Tristan's wearing it on the swallow pixie which is what yeah. I just had on, yeah. Because mm -hmm. I wanted to do gauges, but I also wanted like cow ear going on. Right. So the only problem is that the swall the pixie gauge is not, um, it's small, it's a smaller gauge, as you can right. tell in the picture. So. Yeah, so they support either the small or the extra large, mm -hmm. so. And then I believe it looks like very, Tristan very has a um, panic, not panic, uh, pride at home. 
offering as well. Yes, a, a true colors collar. Oh, that's not what I saw. Oh, it's the I... queer and exhausted pillow. Oh yeah, well, so they have. It's, he's got one on either side. Oh, I see. So yes, you're right. There's also the queer and exhausted pillow at the Pride at Home event itself. It looks like, whereas the other you can buy here in the store. Yeah. That's great. And then I was just noticing he has my story stuff too, because, you know, I'm, I'm into that now on my level. <laughs> so, yeah. He's probably always had, and I'm just late to the party, so. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, have we covered all the panic things? Uh, mostly I want to, mm -hmm. because I know Tristan is going to watch this. I want to know where <laughs> yeah. three times where apparently. Got, yeah. Where you got those flags that are over on the right. On the walls. Side, yeah. On the walls. Yeah. yeah. The free Palestine um, and the stop genocide. Yeah. You can't click uh, on them to figure that out. Well, it, it might just be that it's a, a texture normal flag that's been retextured. Yeah. I don't know if it's. If this is available as is, but like the, yeah, I, I don't so think Tristan, the item. So um, Tristan, Tor wants your flags. <laughs> yeah, I want the flag. So if you can tell him how to get it or um, pass the ch the texture, because I know I've seen kits like this where they're blank flags and right. you apply your own texture. So I think um, that's what's going on here. So if it's so. something that, that Tristan made and can pass to you, or if it's, here's the components to creating it. Um, right. And that's what you're getting at. But you want that too. Yes. Because I figured you'd put that up at the retreat. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Are we are we good to go? We're I know we could spend go. the rest of the day at Panique with our comfy <laughs> couch and our snacks. <laughs> but we are good to go. So we'll keep moving. Okay. All right, Tour. I, I forgot to get my purse out. Because yeah. whenever we go shopping, I need to have my bag of cash. <laughs> it's a great, great purse. So this was a Pride at Home gift, too. And it's yeah. from Dots. So. Yeah. Comes with some different textures and stuffed with cash. <laughs> Just overflowing. Yep. All right. So where are we, though? We're at Selections, which... Ooh. Is this That's a new, new store to Fliff? New Fliffer, yeah. New Fliffer. Yeah. All so right. selections, they make poses. <laughs> <laughs> they do. They like do. like that other store. What is it? Who else makes poses? Go and see. Makes Go and poses. see makes poses. Yeah. yeah. So. so this is selections. Uh -huh. um, selections is offering this couples thirty one pose. Yeah. Where man is hauling off the woman. That's cute. It is. I imagine if this was us in this picture, you'd be a bit more hunched over. <laughs> uh, so. Yeah, probably. Or crushed. I like it. I like it. <laughs> so, 50 Lindens for this pose? Correct, yes. It's cool. I look and forward to seeing like more of their poses. Yeah, it looks like they're doing a bunch of different week weekend slash weekly sales. So. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, always good to know good new pose makers. Yeah, for sure. Nice. All right, are we good to go? We are. All right, so where are we? We are at She Said Destroy. Oh, fun. All right, so what are, what's the offering here? This is bomb stockings called Kittenish. Okay. Uh, they don't have feet included, so they were intended to be worn with shoes or boots or something. Okay, okay. It says multiple options with stripes, small fishnets, leopardo, and stars. <laughs> Do you think leopardo That's... is a typo? I'm not sure. No, because the D and the O are not close on the keyboard. I mean, it still could be. <laughs> um, it... Could leopardo. be that the O oh, is supposed to be like leopard spots. Like I might be reaching there, mm. but either way, 
I think the you know it's it's useful to have those sorts of bomb things available sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. So fifty yeah. linden, you get the pack. Fifty linden, you get the whole pack. All right, that sounds good. I think I'll pick yeah. them up. You never know. Excellent. Okay, are we good to go? We are good to go. All right, tour. Where are we? We are at Supernatural. I, you know, I had to do a double take because these shoes are very um, low key for Supernatural. Right? Like, I thought so too. I, for a minute, I thought, oh, are we at a new store? A new store? A new store called Erna <laughs> Two? <laughs> no. And then I looked around. I'm like, oh wait, we're at Supernatural. <laughs> so <laughs> these are the Blakeleys. I, I blame it because it's. Getting out of bed was rough this morning, let me just say. Like, I could easily still be <laughs> curled up asleep. So I think my brain is, at points, still napping. Um, right, right. But Blakely, and if it's my Trey LRX Legacy and E-Body. And I picked them up and because I like shoes like this. I like simple, but with some fun detailing, like with the little, like, flower petals. Well, they actually like have ruffles. seemingly a line of similar types along the okay. uh the wall to if you follow the corner okay oh i see so they've got like the alara 2 and the ellie 2 okay and the iris 2 and the angelique 2 maybe they should move past the number two they should do like <laughs> the others and ellie nine S iris 12 you know like it's just uh, but they're all kind of in the yeah, same... Yeah, that more reasonable type shoe. Like, so yeah. the Angelique 2 or 11 or 13 or whatever. Um, <laughs> they, I like that. It's like an extension of this shoe. It is. Yeah. And it's a really nice extension. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Good point. Good call out. Yeah, of course. Right. Are we uh, good to go? Good to roll, yeah. All right, tour. I would think we made it home, except for this giant fliff sign, which we do have. Because we oh, asked, yeah, I need to put that. We need somewhere. to put that out at home, because we asked yes. Zipper for the fliff sign so we can decorate our house with them. <laughs> and she gave us the floor model and the wall model, I think. Yeah, she did. Yeah, because you know, the Zipper will Thanks give us. Thanks for reminding me about that. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta put this yeah. out. We asked Zipper for something. She's like, "Sure, here you go." Yep. So, all right. So where are we? It sways. And these, they kind of have like a retro setup out. Right. So this is a combination of things um, between both Wanderlust Weekend and Fliff. Though even the items for Wanderlust Weekend are also 50 Linden. So we yeah. have the uh, Koba chairs, just the PG versions available yeah. here. Uh -huh. um, and they come with a whole bunch of different texture options and two types of wood. You have the magazine table. Are magazine so, tables a thing anymore? I I don't see them very often. This this whole setup feels seventies to me. It does feel very seventies, like especially 60s. the sideboard, the Koba yeah. sideboard. So is this more sixties or seventies? Uh huh. Maybe it's more sixties. Sure. I think yeah. But yeah, I'm not sure. You know, but with the seventies, there was still a lot of leftover sixty stuff. And the lamps, which do toggle, which I appreciate. Very good, yeah. yeah. And so, I remember seeing this from my childhood because I'm old, but you did not exist. I saw these things in as well. <laughs> Much later. <laughs> Much later. <laughs> 20 uh, years is much later. What? You're not 20 years old. No, I'm not. But these things were around 20 years before you existed. Sure, but that doesn't mean I saw them 20 years after you. You did. Oh, my goodness. Because <laughs> it supports uh, my narrative. Uh-huh, uh-huh, mm -hmm. uh-huh. Okay, so anyway, 50 Linden for the chair, 50 Linden for the sideboard, and is Wonderless Weekend also 50 and 50? Oh, that's all nice. So it's basically like all flipped. <laughs> yeah, so you get 200 for all of it, basically. So if you want to do a 60s or 70s inspired space, they got you hooked up here at Sways. 
Yes, they do. So. And you can get out your phonograph player. Yeah. Have a good phonograph. time. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Are we good to go? Yes. All right, tour. I know where we are because I always know. Well, I shouldn't say always because there was that one story. I'm like, what is this? Um, but you know, I please tell the people where we are is what I should say. <laughs> We're at Tentacio. And you're probably wondering how long is she going to go on before and she lets me name the store? Platform Crocs. And I'm just going to talk over her like she's not even still talking about this stuff. <laughs> I'm just going to move on with Swift and just ignore Lala altogether because this is the tour show. <laughs> Uh, and with the platform crocs you get a little bit of looks like you get a lego piece of tamagotchi a tiny ice cream and a super nintendo controller and all attached to your shoe right and when i got here i'm like cute but no but <laughs> now yep. i want to ask you because i was just talking i didn't ask your opinion do you think i should have these uh i don't think this matches your style okay i like them though you know now I'm like, if they made them in totally do, I would totally wear them as my my kid avatar, because that that fits. <laughs> but I don't think they make totally do size. Mm, no. So. Um. And then the, you what talked about fit? the branches and the ribbon. No, one second. Demo fits my Trail Legacy e body since. Yeah. The question of. Fits. Bodies came up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes, and then there's my music aqua edition so it's specifically the blue ribbon that you get with this and you can get um you know a ribbon with musical notes flying off to the side yeah. as well as uh cherry blossoms uh like coming out of your ears and hair which is that's fun yeah it is a fun set like you know i like the music notes because of djing and stuff yeah so maybe i'll pick it up and see if i can work it into something yeah, but where did they must have it somewhere in the store? If if just offering the the. Oh, I'm sure, color. and I'm sure it's got a bunch of different colors yeah. available. Okay. Yeah. All right, are we good to go? We are good to go. Why are you laughing? You hear my dog toys? <laughs> yep. Yeah, the alligator's loose. He's on the loose, wow, and wow, he's wow. doing all the things. <laughs> so. uh. All right, we have made it to Beachy. Beachy. I'm looking at the nails and I'm like, okay, so she's got daisy gels. She's got star gels. You called out the Saturday sale because there was butterfly and men's and women's. Yes. And I in my head is she just needs to apply these to the duck shape. I get butterflies. <laughs> I like how that's you're still focused on. So of course. it's like I get butterfly nails and I'm like, they could all be duck. I know, I know. So, because I've seen her apply the glitter tips to the duck, and it's so good. So, I don't know. I don't know what's all involved in doing that because I don't. I don't create, right? I don't do the meshing. Um, yeah. Obviously, she has the shape. She has the shape of the nail, right? So. Yeah. It the the texture ha would have to be kind of reworked to mm -hmm, match that shape. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so, uh, there is going to be a bit of of that sort of work involved. Yeah. But so all of these are lovely as usual. So 50 linen for the daisy or the star. And then um, yes. I just bought the I bought the butterfly and I didn't even notice how much it costs. So the butterflies cost a hundred each. Okay. So you can get the butterfly crumbs or glitter gels. And exactly. if you're a man, sense. you can also get butterfly gels. Or oh. you know crumbs yeah so and you buy both of them yeah i bought both of them okay and then uh, she has her lazy saturday up too so yes this is... so glow in the dark uh ballerina type nails oh, nice. for neon jelly or glow in the dark i wonder if they're glow in the dark because they're full bright <laughs> uh, it looks that way <laughs> your favorite mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah okay all right, and I looked around, and I didn't see any pride nails, so we'll see if she does that at some point. Yeah, yeah. So, all right, um, we're off to the next. Yes. All right, where, where are we? We're at Vespertine. 
Vespertine. And what do they have? This is right up your alley. They have two of the cutest bird feeders ever. I thought it were bird houses. I said bird feeder and then you said bird house. Sorry. Uh, yeah, they're bird houses. Okay. Uh, sorry. I messed you up. Sorry. It's all me. Okay. Yes. So I'm like camming into them because I want to see it. It's like a it's like a whole bird in there. Yeah, they're calling one a small villa house with spelling it S M O L, which is Aww, appropriate. Oh, that's cute. And the other one is uh, the bird trailer. It's very cute. Yeah, these are both fantastic. Uh, I'm definitely gonna find a home for them. <laughs> so, did they? So the birds are not included then, right? Uh, the birds are does not appear that they're included right, they are using hpmd birds looks mm -hmm. like because one bird's not lined up models. properly with the villa i see that and so i'm like oh is that a build mistake but then i was like mm, i don't think they're part of it yeah so i think the hpmd birds work very well so they i'd do. probably pick up them <laughs> to go or i'd look for one of the animated Dreon ones that would look appropriate yeah, moving around that could look cute too So it's 50 linen per? Yes. And 50 linen for both. the villa or the trailer. Yes, I got both. And I will buy them both. And then... Birds. Now, this is our last stop. So this then is we're our last stop. Go back home for some first life thoughts. Or yes. Did you want to go back home or did you want to go hang out at the Stealthic Parade? Oh, okay. Let's do that. Because <laughs> we couldn't get enough of it. So yep. we're going to go back to the parade and we're going to do first life thoughts. Unless your first life thoughts require a more you know, chill environment. No, this is good. Okay, all right, let's go. Okay. All right, tour. This is, we're at the parade location. We are. But you, tell tell me why you chose to position us here. Oh, well. You're like, well, isn't it obvious, Consuela? It is, but I want to hear you say it. <clears throat> well, we haven't uh, exactly had snacks for this whole no. trip, so... Uh, and this we're both hungry reward. first life so and yeah we are both yeah, I'm, <laughs> uh, i actually am genuinely hungry yeah i am genuinely hungry as well yeah so, so. we're gonna be uh finishing up and then both getting some food yes all right so but it is time for tours first life thoughts yeah so um i, I wanted to jump into pride talk um you know a lot of a lot of what we talk about is Sorry, some of the more. Um, let me start over. There is, of course, a lot of dark things happening in the world, but I wanted to jump into some things to celebrate as as Pride is kicking off. So, um, one of the first bits of uh, I'm I'm bringing up two articles to highlight from PinkNews.com, which. I strongly recommend uh, as a source for things that are going on that impact the queer community especially um, but first is that Bailey Ann Kennedy uh, makes history as the first trans and Asian American Miss Maryland USA um, oh that's cool I didn't know that yeah so she has she has some you know good quotes in her uh, that, that she's written here too not everyone has to agree with the spaces that you occupy and it doesn't mean that you aren't worthy of these opportunities the work that I will do for the remainder of my life is to make sure that children who feel like me will never have to worry about the consequences of being who they are by simply being myself and being a positive contribution to society um, goes on to write Whatever beauty means to you, I hope you can see the beauty of your own potential or the beauty of your future beyond any circumstances. Um, so, yeah, I think that's fantastic. And last year, uh, two trans women competed in the uh, Miss Universe pageant. It was the first, uh, let's see, that saw the first transgender woman to win Miss Portugal and the first trans woman to be crowned Miss Netherlands. Um, 
they didn't uh, they didn't win the title of Miss Universe. But you know these sorts of things, uh, this sort of representation matters. You know, there's so many different uh, pageant winners out there, and you know some of them now are trans, and I think that's wonderful. Yeah, and I just pulled up the article to go with it. Mm -hmm. So that, you know, because I really wanted to see. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. She's got a great smile. She does. Too. Yeah. Very pretty. Yeah. So, you know, I, I know that there's, I know there's criticisms to be made about pageantry in general, but it exists and um and i'm glad that it is becoming a more inclusive space and that these sorts of high profile uh celebrities are you know are coming into our consciousness because that that representation really does matter it um not only does it is it inspiring for you know trans youths and helps them feel more comfortable being who they are because they see uh, role models out there, very positive role models out there um, that represent, you know, who they are. Um, but it also, ha as a, even though this isn't necessarily the direct uh, intention, it also has a dampening effect over time on bigotry um, because one of the one of the ways that bigotry is able to fester is through just a lack of exposure. You know, that that ignorance, that lack of of seeing uh, someone in, you know, a an out group and recognize like having regular interactions with people uh, that are different from you. That ignorance is what people are able to prey on to push people into uh you know bigotry and hatred so a, a side effect of uh, of positive representation and such is that not only is it beneficial to that marginalized community directly but indirectly it also has a a chilling effect on on uh, various forms of bigotry so uh the other one uh, this isn't directly, um, you know, uh, queer related, but in the same vein, uh, this is just of personal interest to me, and it happened to be in the same <laughs> news article, is uh, Plus Size Miss Alabama. Uh, she is, you know, this is a woman who is not just like conventionally chubby within the realm of what you know modeling allows she's a big girl yeah and i i love this that she is you know has settled in as miss alabama and has kind of a similar message of you know that uh, um that people need to kind of be more uh more accepting and let go of their hatred that um that uh yeah down here she says she was disturbed by a lot of the comments that she received and and pushback that she received but instead she says watch me watch me serve my community watch me give my all into preparing for nationals watch me find the shy girl in the room and learn her name watch me continue to pour positivity into social media watch me crush every goal i set Watch me chase this dream. Watch me show every single hater why a plus-size woman can and should be a title holder. Stand back and watch me show everyone who doubts me wrong. Mm. You are more than your body, and more importantly, you are more than the evil things people say about your body. So, yeah. I thought both of those were just, you know, fantastic uh, things to celebrate. I agree. Um, those are great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, and as a as a kind of final thing to touch on, I'm linking to uh, a international uh, pride calendar, which 
kind of, I mean, it's not going to cover every single possible Pride celebration out there, but it's a good starting point. And in linking it, I am also encouraging people, um, especially in the SL community, like we will tend to be a little bit more introverted as far as first world goes, <laughs> or yeah. first life goes. Uh, uh, but I would encourage folks, if you, uh, if you have the ability to, to go and support a local pride event wherever you are uh just because you know that that turnout matters and that stand you know making making it clear that you stand with your local uh you know lgbtq plus community uh that matters and you might make some wonderful friends you might make some wonderful uh contacts and if you're involved in activism and mutual aid you might find groups that you can collaborate with as well um so that would be my um the challenge that i would issue to people for this 2024 uh pride year no matter where you are no matter what country you're in you know find find some local uh event and at least one and make it out to that and have a good time there and those are great those great messages all of them yeah all right so, so you've concluded your first life thoughts i have concluded my first life thoughts i know it's shorter than usual but uh, you know i i i feel like this is a, a good positive thing to start into pride yeah. with yeah and so um then usually i go into comments so i was going back because like there's comments that i can tell that i haven't engaged with and they're all about a month old <laughs> so um so if i look at the first one there was one from tristan it's like a little mm. cut off so i think did i don't know if we talked about this one so i don't know if you're looking at it on the I'm channel on the, so can i link you let me drop the link to you over here and see if you can just okay this up. so you might be able to get in there because you're a manager on the channel so let's see it was comments um let me open it over here bigger <laughs> so it was a month ago and i didn't engage with it so usually i would put like a you know like some kind of response but I think yeah, this one obviously came in when we were um, off <laughs> because yeah. it was a month old. So remind me if we talked about this though, because he starts up with um, always, um, he'll always call you out for your love of clicking things um, yeah, and enjoys the I'm, clicking. I'm looking. And I feel I, like we did, right? Because we're talking we about voices and we got, we got a whole bunch of Tristan last night. And that was great. We had just a little chat with with Tristan. I, I think we up. did. I did. I think yeah. we did talk about this comment. Yeah. But I could be wrong. I. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna touch on it again because my just don't remember. So. Um, it's yeah. We all know that you love to click things, right? And I then. Do. Um, Tristan goes on to say that um, he really doesn't get in voice with people much anymore. Well, he did with both of us last night, yes. and that was fun. Um, that was very, yeah, and, it, it was fun. It was good catching up. Yeah, he goes, 15 years ago, you couldn't keep me out of voice. But his social mm. battery just isn't what it used to be. That's yeah. a new one I haven't heard, social battery. So It's a, it's a good way of phrasing it, I think, because, yeah, you're, you constantly need to recharge and stuff. Yeah. And then, mm -hmm. then he goes on to say, I'm so grateful for how much I see. We didn't touch this in this one because this is not familiar to me. And normally okay. in the comments, I would react or make a gotcha. comment back. And that's how I know that I've engaged with it. Um, so Tristan goes on to say, um, grateful to hear us laugh over his comments last week. And then <laughs> my sassitude. I love this word. Consuela's word. sassitude is giving me life. 
Uh, I think I kind of can, and I think I will. <laughs> it's true. It's true. I support you continuing to try to convince me to be on voice. Well, we didn't have Done. to convince you yesterday. Um, maybe we yeah. can get a 2025 calendar of tour in corsets, lunar heels, <laughs> and speedos. We'll call it the lunar tour. Oh, jeez. And it's like, eh, eh, catchy. <laughs> Well, that is, that is pretty catchy. Tour, you have always you've had the plan to have a year of tour in speedos, and yeah, you even started I, taking some of these pictures. I did. At this did. point, if you use the old pictures, it'd be like different face, different body. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I'm just well, I'm yeah, exaggerating, I, I, but um, no, I'd reshoot it, but I need to make that happen. Yeah, and then um, I guess there was a question about asking Tristan how he spent the last seventeen seventeen years in Second Life. Um, joined in two thousand seven, so like me 2007 resident um and the first ever search was role play i've been role playing since introduced to dungeons and dragons i wanted oh, yeah. to play dungeons and dragons but i just never got at the right group of kids um yeah, so, yeah. I, I got into that pretty early myself i remember when i was in i want to say probably middle school at this point there were some mm -hmm. boys in my neighborhood that thought it was cool if i would play dungeons and dragons with them because i was a girl Oh. And I'm like, yeah, I totally want to, but I don't know why it didn't work out. It could it probably my parents, um, my mother, Mama Lala probably would speak to this. Um, wasn't real easy about me going over to people's houses, especially if I didn't, if they weren't known. So, and these boys, right. I think were just neighborhood boys. And I don't think I probably got permission to go because I remember, I knew they we were all interested. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. And I never got right. to. So, gotcha. so maybe Mama Lala's the reason I didn't get to play Dungeons and Dragons, but then she'd probably say she's the reason that I'm still alive, right? Because she saved me from some unknown danger. But yeah, um, yeah. we'll see. Mama Lala weigh in; she always does. Um, okay, start uh, role playing online in chat rooms and on online forums. First two years of Second Life didn't leave the role playing sim I had joined for anything other than buying a new outfit, um, <laughs> because I was super poor at the time when I finally left the role playing sim. It was to attempt to make RL income through SL escorting. Like I said, I needed to tap into this phase of SL because I hear about people doing it. So that's come. I was like, let me try um, what, like 15 years in. Let me try this thing that everybody does when they first get here. Um, and then I spent several years fulfilling a ton of different club related roles, getting into the pyramid schemes like bloodlines and tiny empires until eventually oh, I burned yeah. out on all of it and returned to role playing again which is where I met Gwen, my blogging and designing getaway, gateway drug, sorry. <laughs> Tristan talks about Gwen a lot, yeah. I spent Pretty several fun. years as her manager and blogger and opened my first official store at her place, making poses and shapes. And then once he stepped away from the, her, the position at her store, kind of just existed on her platform. Oh, I'm sorry, on his platform for several years. I was like, wait, is, he's not living with Gwen. Um, mm -hmm. I did briefly take time out in the wild last year um, and the year before when I was introduced to some of the SL wrestling community we've watched well I've watched SL wrestling but up until January of this year I don't think I have yeah I have I've just came across it through like DJing and stuff um, oh, okay. but up until January of last year when I met my newest partner I've pretty much been an SL shut in just creating and not much else mm. and then he goes on to say also just to clarify on the mighty asterisk about Reiki versus Western medicine. The comment was definitely not aimed at Consuela specifically. Western medicine canon can does have its limits. I can attest to that in ways I wish I couldn't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It seemed that the kinds of folks I think Tour got the gist of. These days, people are um, <laughs> sunning their yoni. Yeah. Uh huh. For health mm -hmm. benefits. And I just. Do you want skin cancer on your bits? This is how you get skin cancer on your bits. Put that away. Go home. Where are your parents? <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm not going to be sunning my yeah, Tristan, yoni. Tristan. You're totally correct. Yep. There's, uh, that, that is who I was speaking to. Yes. <laughs> I will not remind you of why I got choked up, but I will f say thank you for the invite to your incredible day. The note card. I note carded the whole thing so I can go back and read it again. I didn't cry multiple times. I never cry. Congratulations again, you two. <laughs> I love how in love you are. That is a oh, yeah. so I'm going to love that. I'm loving on that. So, I, like I said, I have to give the comments their, 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 their due. Definitely. So Yeah, I think you're correct. I don't think we did cover no, that. No, no, we didn't touch on that. Um, 
And then, so thank you, Tristan, for that. I, I know I've told Tristan many times that I love his comment novels. So I'm glad. Mm-hmm. No regrets that we've ever encouraged Tristan to make comments. Because at the beginning, yep. he's like, you're going to regret this. And I'm like, nope, no, I'm not. And no I regrets. Don't. No regrets. No, not at all. All right. So then it looks like the uh, the Razzler weighed in about a month ago on two of the videos um, oh. that you were serving looks. Like tourists serving looks, honey. <laughs> so, oh my goodness yeah so tourist serving looks sure is all the time all day every day and then um, they wanted to know what AO what stand AO zipper's using and I don't know I'd have to ask zipper or zipper would need to come mm. in so um, gotcha. then after our last video the update video um, which I'm going to share something amusing remember in the video I said we didn't lose any subscribers after I posted the video, the update video, we lost one. <laughs> and that was funny to me. That sort of stuff always cracks me up. But like, here's the update. And then somebody's like, all right, I'm out. <laughs> okay. But anyway, I know it's all variable. I just like to make up stories in my head about why people leave or where they go. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, so Jaff, Jaff, DV, I, that's probably something clever. I'm not pronouncing right. Are you looking at it? Yeah, Daft Vash. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Dash, Daf, Devash. I go. It's, yeah. Their comment was, "Honey, get up! The Rizzlers have posted." And I don't know <laughs> that I, unless Daff has changed their name. I don't think we've had a comment from Daff. I don't think before. so either. But but I yeah, love that this. one's pretty fun. Yeah. And I'm, I already responded. See, I was like, "LOL, you're too sweet." Like it was just so funny to me to see that. <laughs> then Tristan's back in the comments 24 minutes ago on the update video. <laughs> And then is he's quoting us. Thanks for sticking us through sickness. And then he goes to all caps. I'm also with you through health. Are we married? <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes on to say, welcome back. You two. I'm so glad you're both feeling better, but also grateful. The universe made you both sit down and take a break. You both do so much all the time and you deserve the rest. Even if it's not quite the rest you probably envisioned. I can't wait to see the next flip video. And I will definitely not be stalking. Consuela's not coven coven at all. <laughs> well, it's for the littles on LLP. So unless you're going to turn into a little <laughs> or if I start doing it outside of LLP, then you're totally yeah. welcome for sure. Yeah. So, although Tristan as a little is interesting to me, <laughs> but you know, it's, that's a personal uh, preference. So those are the comments, which then I put away and go into thank yous after that. So, Thank you, everybody, for commenting. Thank you, everyone who spends any amount of time watching our videos. Even if you come and then leave, like the one did, I know it happens, things happen. But for those of you, no matter how long you're with us, if you've been with us since the start, if you've just joined, and even to the person who left, I still appreciate the time that they spent with us. (laughs) So thank you, everyone. We appreciate you. And we will see you in the next video. Happy Pride. Happy Pride.